Okay, I have returned. Return. That's big box. And I've decided. Oh, hello. Okay, can you relax? I've decided. Kanehurst. That's what I've decided. Oh, and this guy. This guy. Must come and defend. Freaking white knight. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was gonna point out. Um, I mean, I lost the footage where I pointed this out, but all the bodies... ...corresponds to what we know from bone marrow ash. This bone marrow ash is collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Mm, it's very um, lucrative and disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this whole area so we can look at the stagecoach because it's a very unique looking thing. Can you do... Okay, well, that one... Not... Do the jump. Damn it. That, that one I know. Okay. Oh, boy, mates. Do a thing. Damn it. Oh, damn it! You know what? I'm, I'm quite a high level. I don't think I need to be waiting for parries. Oh, the dogs. Chaos and dogs. Fantastic. Oh, but they're like one hit kill. Kill these ones too. I don't think they will attack, but... I mean, they do attack, I just- I just mean that. I don't think we're gonna get close to them. Even looking at the stagecoach, but... Just in case. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to unmute, but I was just saying... <laughs> I'm not impressed with your tricks, Kanehurst. I'm not impressed with your stupid smoke and mirrors Halloween tricks. Oh, the, the spooky carriage and the dead horses. Yeah, no one cares. Um... And a reminder, the, the, the Kanehurst summons it was addressed to us and also found on the hospital bed we woke up from implying it fell out of our pocket maybe and we didn't notice it until later i don't know what the implication of that is anyway these guys think they're trying to scare me
Oh, and the spooky stalker shot looking at me from within the tall grass. Ooh, oh, I'm so scared. Oh, and my transportation is long dead, covered with snow. These parlor tricks. These snobby, posh little parlor trick pulling bastards. Oh, but look at this, look at this in the distance. We've got the distant Yarnum above my character's head and the distant Cathedral Ward. And then, of course, that's Hemwick. We'll get a better view of this later. There's a lot of weird distant terrain issues that Kanehurst has, though, because you can see this from a lot of places, but if you walk like one step too far, it just like disappears. There's a lot of visual errors in Kanehurst. Uh, Kanehurst is sadly one of the areas that were just not fully developed, and I'll go over that a little bit from the things that we do know. Obviously, everything else is just sort of speculation because Kanehurst looks like this large area, and it's it's obviously not, you know. I mean, it's it's. I think it's less noticeable than the Hemwick issue because I spoke about this many times, but Hemwick was definitely supposed to be a larger area than what it ended up being. It was the area that was first in gameplay trailers, um, besides Yarnum, obviously. It was the first new area that we saw in gameplay trailers. Or I think, actually, I think Hemwick was actually one of the earliest gameplay trailers, like the boss room of Hemwick. Um, and I don't know if that's where the bosses were originally supposed to be, or if it was just like, well, we're done with this area, so put the boss in here to j just to show it off for early gameplay trailers. But undeniably when you look at the 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 i don't know what to call that a castle the hemwick castle it's huge on the outside it is huge it's massive and all you do is go into the basement fight the witches and then that's it and i pointed this out but there is also a statue of people say that it's lawrence i don't know if it's lawrence but anyway it's enough about hemwick we're in canehurst Oh, and the gate opens, but nobody's there. I'm so spooked. I'm startled. Whoa. Fun fact, I never got this lamp when I first played this game because it blended into the snow. And I just walked right past it. And I was like, how the fuck do you? You're not supposed to die here. You just you just can't die here because you go back down there every single time you die. There's no lamp. You can't transport back to the, the dream. <laughs> no, you can. I'm just... So this guy. This guy should look familiar to you. I'll be pointing out that guy quite a lot. And, you know, usually I like to clear out the areas, but my god, these things just have a lot of health. And these things are even more obnoxious. 
Okay, really, Miyazaki? Yeah, I'm blaming you personally, Miyazaki. These guys. Not a large range of sight. But interestingly, these guys, if you do a visceral attack in the chalice dungeons, they will spawn in once you leave the room and then come back. There will be a blood liquor there. There's some items up here. I just, I don't even know if it's worth getting. Because these skinny ones are really fast. And the fat one is obviously very slow. Oh, the, and the door just... Uh, see that guy again? See, he, look at the staff he's holding. Kind of familiar, isn't it? I mean, if you've played this game before, it's familiar. I can't remember what this is. On numbingness, that's not really helpful. That's li is there a time when numbing mist is helpful other than PvP? And even then, is it helpful? Because the chances that you're gonna land a numbing mist throw is none. <laughs> so the ghosts won't spawn in until you interact. I think you can actually kill this guy and they don't care. This poor servant guy, I mean, what did he do to deserve that? Yeah, they still don't care. You have to actually pick up an item. And then they'll spawn in. Oh, okay. I have to actually grab it and then they'll spawn in? Wait, they still don't care? Okay, what about this? Oh, there they go. And then this guy has stopped cleaning and now he's really scared because all the ghosts woke up. So... I was actually talking about this on the, <laughs> the Bloodborne subreddit recently, but because this game has gone through so many state changes throughout its development, I just, like I said, I used to be extremely huge on dissecting the lore, and I do think dissecting the lore is really fun, but there's a lot of lore that is only fan theory. I would say the majority of Bloodborne lore is fan theory, because this game has when you dive into the data mining, this game has gone through so many fucking changes that I don't even think Miyazaki knew what the final product was going to look like by the time they needed to meet deadline. So, if you look, I'll, I'll pull out the monocular in a bit, but I'll show you. Kanehurst especially, I just don't think there's any true lore to be gained from Kanehurst. Obviously, we know what the intention was because Alfred tells us. Um, but the actual visual design is not representative of what happened here at all. I mean, you can force it if you want, because you can say... Okay, I'll just go, I'll go up here immediately and just show you what I'm talking about. Oh wait, is this the only two up here? I need to leave one of you alive. Oh no, there. There's another one. Okay, I'll kill you then. I need to bring one of them into this light here. So I can show you what I'm talking about. So, she's blindfolded. Her neck is cut. Oh, and this guy wants a piece. Okay, relax. So, 
you know, what Alfred tells us is that the executioners came through Kanehurst and just killed everyone. So we can assume these ghosts are the remnants of those that were killed during the execution. Because the healing church deemed the vile bloods as vile bloods. Their, their blood is forbidden. And oh, I can actually, I actually have an item that is relevant to that. Oh, I'm out of stamina. A member of the old healing church would know that her blood is similar indeed to precisely what was once forbidden. And she wears the Kanehurst noble dress. Ariana does. So yeah, the, the vile blood blood is forbidden. You get more insight to that with more of the items here. But, like I said, there are so many state changes that Kanehurst went through specifically that I just don't know if there's anything to truly be gleaned from what is here. Oh, sorry, I thought you were dead. That was disrespectful of me. I underestimated you. And yeah, I, I, the, the ghosts having their throat slit and being blindfolded, that's accurate to, you know, the the raid that the executioners supposedly did on Kanehurst, but that could have also been relevant to something else that was in the narrative of this place before it changed way later in development. A weapon at risk. Oh, what, what, what the heck? It's not like I have repair powder. This isn't Dark Souls. That's right, I have the Cursed Blood Gem. Weapon durability down. Oh, I'm, not ju I'm just not doing enough damage. Alright. I'll go. Okay, I'm back. And I don't remember what I was saying. Ah! Ah! Here is Ariana's dress. We'll read it as well. I haven't read it in a very, very long time. Oh, doesn't say much. <laughs> yeah, the nobles of the old blood blo bloodline that traces back to the Forsaken Castle Caner. So, Ariana. The lovely Bloodborne art. nobles. Look at their fancy little plate with the Kanehurst on it. It's more of the same over there. Oh, I'll show you the little visual, the little visual glitches around here. Just don't look out this window, okay? And there's the distant y Yarnum and Cathedral. You know, it's funny because in in Hemwick, there's another distant texture of Yarnum and Cathedral Ward. And 
it does not look like that. It, it looks like a very early design of Yarnum and Cathedral Ward. This looks more accurate to what is actually in the final version of the game that we are playing. So that, that's a little better done. I guess I'll just talk about it now. Um, yeah, Ligarius is just the king of Canehurst. Like, his, his, in the files of the game, it, it's just the king of Canehurst. It's not Ligarius. And I think I mentioned this in one of the earlier recordings. That, um, that was one of my first suspicions of the game being kind of unfinished was, um, that, that does not look like an executioner. There's no symbol of the church. He's not wearing executioner garb. He doesn't have a wheel. Like, he doesn't have any symbolism of the church. And it's, it's just, it makes no sense. But yeah, he's... He's, he was originally meant to be the King of Canehurst, like literally the guy that we, we see. This I don't know why people didn't make this connection. And when I would bring it up in lore communities, people would be like, what are you talking about? No, that's, that's not Garius. It's just because he's old. And it's like, well, Alfred calls himself a protege of Master Ligarius. And granted, you could take that with a grain of salt. It's not a guarantee that he actually knew Ligarius. It could be that Ligarius was an ancient, but so ancient that he looks nothing like anything that we know of the Healing Church iconography. No. It's, it was incredibly obvious to me, and I, I can't believe people would like shoot me down over that. It's like, this is who we fight. This, this is who we fight. <laughs> and a more withered version of that guy. Excuse me, sir? Give me some of my health back. And, um, Annalise, the Vile Blood Queen, she was actually supposed to be very sweet. And you know how the doll, well, I guess the doll doesn't really matter because she's a creation of Maria, but you know Maria's voice? Maria is also a descendant of Canehurst, and um, they gave Annalise the same voice actor as Maria. I don't want to deal with those guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can glean anything from this. Yeah, attire worn by the band of executioners commanded by the marcher Lugarius. Later became the basis for all church attire. So this is a very early version of church attire. Heavy, with its heavy draping of the holy shawl. As the great Lugarius once said, acts of goodness are not always wise and acts of evil are not always foolish. But regardless, we shall always strive to be good. So, it has the heavy shawl. It was an early version of the shawl actually. And we don't see Ligarius wearing anything like this. Uh, where's... I mean, it's just, it's... I don't understand why people didn't clue into that. That we are literally just fighting Ligarius, I mean, the King of Canehurst, who was... Obviously, they could not rework an entire boss design this close to release, assumedly. Presumably. Well, words. I, I use words like I know what I'm saying, but I don't. I was so dodo-brained when I first played this game that I was like, how the hell do you get 
how you get how you get out of here. I do that. One of the coolest looking guns in the game, and I mean, this is a dead giveaway why Maria is associated with Kanehurst. I mean, I'm pretty sure it says it in one of her item descriptions, but yeah, that's that's Maria's gun. There's no real reason to kill them all, but, you know, I do anyway. And this, there are many, like, renaissance libraries that look like this, but the best, um, near identical, I don't know, let me look, let me bring this up real quick. My Bloodborne Inspirational Photography folder. So again, like before, I don't know how to pronounce any of this shit. This one's in Portugal. So let me just try. The Biblioteca... See when I see a J and it's in another language, I, I automatically want to say like, yo. But I, I'm pretty sure they don't do that in Portugal. So Joanina. Biblioteca Joanina. Look it up. It's almost identical. Yeah, actually it kind of is. It's got like the ladders. The gold trimming. Very, very similar. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, bro! No! This guy behind me. Oh, dude, dude, I'm not after you at the moment. Your time will come. He almost got me. Oh, and he did get me, okay, well. Okay, you wanna trade a few more times? You can just shoot these guys and they fall over, but. I dropped numbing this. I think that's a rare drop. I don't even know if it's worth it to do transform attacks on them because they retaliate so quickly. They're giving me trouble today. So, speedrun strat, speedrun strat. I'm gonna show you it, but I'm not gonna do it. And then this is the ladder up to Ligarius. But we're not doing that. We're playing the game the way Miyazaki wants me to play it. Probably not fully, though, because I'm supposed to be struggling a bit more. I'm kind of struggling in this area, though. Where's he gonna land? Right here? Oh, I, th I messed that up real bad. Okay. No, 
now this this guy is a problem. A weapon at risk again? Are you kidding me? Uh-uh. What? Okay, I have to take that gem off because it's that's way too quick. Okay, I might die as well. Oh, I did die. I've never seen that attack before, though. That's kind of cool. Just, like, runs up and backstabs you. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Where are my echoes? This soulmate has him, doesn't he? Well, I'll just have to kill you guys first. Before I go over there. Huh? I went around. I'll help you. Whoa. I got that stab again. Never seen those attacks before. This is a great arcane tool right here, especially if you're going through the the chalices and you're at a high level because the chalices don't scale with level, obviously. You could just spam that. Just spam it. Ooh, that's such a lovely set. Let's wear it. Doesn't go with the sock lever though. It needs the Rakuyo or something. The classy weapon. Very pretty distant terrain. FromSoft does it right. It always looks like a, a painting. Hopefully this guy won't aggro onto me because I'm behind him. Yeah. Oh, come on. Relax. Let me tell you what's unfair about the item that's up here. Okay, that's okay. Oh, 
Okay, I just can't hit these guys. In fact, I'll just not fight them. So yeah, you got the little knight's ponytail thing. Okay, if your character is a female character, you get a little tiny hat with your ponytail. You get a little, a little like Mad Hatter's hat. Just a cute little tiny little headband hat. You don't get that if you're a male character, though. Rude. Classic Gold Hunter's Mark right before boss. Miyazaki is such a nice guy. Let's see how we do with, um, quote-unquote, Logarius. He, he's the king of Kanehurst, okay? He, he has a crown. He drops a crown, okay? How much you want me to s suspend my disbelief? Okay. Okay, I need you to get away from the wall, like, immediately. I don't have any depth perception. Can you- okay, what? Can you- Thank you. Why is this shit hitting me? Okay, I'm not doing well. I'm almost out of blood vials. Okay, get away from the wall! And that's why he can't be near the wall, because if he- <gasps> If he backs up to the wall, he'll get his little goofy power up. Okay, can you not do that attack straight out the gate? Okay. Just doing it again. Okay. Oh, 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 just fight me. Damn, am I like under leveled or something? Oh no! Stop!
Oh, okay. I might die. That fight was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. He couldn't stop waving his little wand at me. Get this silly little crown off of my head. What level am I? I'm not a bad level for Ligarius, so I don't. I, I'm just rusty. Visitor, I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel afore us, or get thee gone. Visitor, moon-scented hunter, I am Annalise, queen of Castle Canehurst, <laughs> ruler of the vile bloods, and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight. And take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee, partake of my rotted blood. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> now, thou art too a vile blood. We too. The very last on this earth. We await thy return for the honor of Kanehurst. Arrant fool. Vile blood or no, forget not. We are thy queen. Bend the knee. So yeah, um, Annalise was originally, originally had Maria's voice actor, and she spoke very soft, sweet, meek, um, was not commanding and pompous. This will be a gift for later, for our dear friend, Sole- Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> oh, and interestingly, a word of the day, I keep saying that. A, the thing that you give her, yeah, it's like, uh, it's like sperm blood things. 
because she wants to bear a child of blood. I feel like that's in another FromSoft game. Child of Blood. Is that in another FromSoft game? Or I'm not, maybe I'm thinking of Ocelot. Invisible Baby Dragon. And you know, I don't I don't think Kanehurst is actually that small of an area. Now that I am looking at the recording time, granted, I did go back to the dream a lot, and there's a lot that needs to be cut out. Because that that cursed gem was just I couldn't even make it two steps into Kanehurst without it breaking. Um but it's about it it's a little bit longer than the Nightmare Frontier. The Nightmare Frontier is actually a shorter area than Kanehurst, I think. After I do the editing, we'll see. I I finished the Nightmare Frontier in about 30 minutes. Doing getting every item going every place except for the messenger's gift. And so Yeah, this this area is People would call it small and unfinished, but I don't... It It's unfinished, I'll give you that much. I mean, Ligarius is still the king of Kanehurst. It, he's this guy. <laughs> A withered version of that guy. But yeah, that's, that's Kanehurst. And we'll be back here before the end of the game. Before too long. But that, that is Kanehurst.